I know you're a criminal mastermind, Miss Caulfield. <laughs> There's a lot you don't know about me. <laughs> Truly, is nothing easy? How do we get around that? <sighs> I'm not despairing yet. Let me take a look. I hope whoever Neb is, they don't mind that I'm in their pub. And if they do mind, I hope I can take them. Oh yeah. Easy peasy. Sure about this? Positive. Wait for it. Go! <laughs> Talk about descending into the mouth of hell. So glad you told me about this place. It's incredible. Ooh. That's one word for it. Uh, I had a friend in undergrad who was obsessed with this building. She never broke in, though. She clearly wasn't as crazy as you. <laughs> Urban exploration is kind of my thing. I can't see a busted old place and simply not go into it. What is it about empty spaces? Well, uh, I don't know. An abandoned building has the potential to be... anything. Just by going inside, I make it into something new. Hell yeah, let's hit the bar. Not a bad shot. Oh, let me just... Don't! What? I don't usually rearrange the space if I can help it. I want it to look exactly like it would without human interference. Got it. Hands off. Is there anything that I should be doing? Just sit still and look pretty. <gasps> the job I was born for. <laughs> <laughs> So what are we looking for exactly, besides photographing random detritus? Most of the shoots I do, I find a focus. Something to hang the rest of the series on. I'll know it when I see it. Something... lonely. The loneliest thing you can find. Gotcha, boss. <laughs> Oof. Try not to breathe too deep. This place looks like it's 90% asbestos. Ah, uh, yes. Oof. Hey, partner in grime. Come check this out. Looks almost like a face. How old did you say this place was? I think it was built in the 60s, but it only closed down like a decade ago. Really? It looks like it's been abandoned for half a century. <laughs> Maybe the tackier something is, the faster the rate of decay. <laughs> well, I buy it. But I'm here on a photography residency, so 
What do I know? I'll pitch my thesis to Moses, get the physicist's perspective. Ready to pledge yourself to the Prince of Lies? <laughs> I don't go in for angels or demons. People are nasty enough all on their own. Don't I know it. God, I have something to bring you back to the beginning. Imagine that. Weird kid. Fun party, though. Maybe if I just ignore this, nothing will pop out of it. I'm so glad Softy showed. Guess these haven't been greased in a minute. Wow. It looks so much cleaner than it did online. Are there photos? Yeah. The old website is still up. I wonder who's paying the hosting fees. Someone who loves kitsch. And dust. Figured out what your focus is going to be yet? Not yet, but I'll know it when I see it. Good thing this building isn't on campus. My mom would definitely have had it raised to the ground by now. Think of the expensive new lit building she'd replace it with. For sure. Expensive, new, and inoffensive. What are you smiling about? Nothing. They must have thought something was worth preserving. Back when they closed this place down. So much for never rearranging a space. Damn. I bet that was stunning when it caught the light. Oh shit. That's it, huh? Hmm? The centerpiece you wanted, right? The loneliest thing in here, or whatever. It was made to be beautiful. And now no one ever looks at it. Until today. <laughs> Something like that. Not in love with this angle, though. There. Help me find a way up. You got it, boss. No thanks, I value my ankles. Be Looks like someone has used this to get around those stairs. Oh. 
You okay? Damn. <laughs> yeah, I I'm fine. That could have been bad. See, this is why you need an assistant. In case you break your ass and need an ass ambulance. <laughs> Go get your shot. Let me figure out how to get you back down. Armed and ready. Let's find that shot. Ain't no rule that says a carousel horse can't bowl. How are your parkour skills? Um, any other options? Other? Yes. Better? Uh, I'll keep looking. The gnomes smoking weed really pull the place together. Yes, this is the angle I need. <laughs> wow. LA service too? This place is bougie. Please remember to tip your ladder driver. Did you get your shot? Let's get the hell out of this death trap. Come on, I'm starving. This loneliness makes me want a sandwich. Oof. Beautiful dismount. Check this out. It's perfect. Oh, show me the angle. Oh my god. What? Are you okay? <laughs> oh. I need a drink. Do you need a drink? You read my mind. Uh, turtle? Turtle. My powers might not last. That's okay. We will. Dead? Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean, no. Not dead. Just thinking. Hmm. Cosmopolitan for Max. Vodka shot for Safi. Very on brand in both cases. Perfect. Thanks a ton, Amanda. You look really good today. You think so? I switched shampoos. Oh, not sure about it yet. So, what are you up to later? <laughs> I've got a dark room all nighter in my immediate future. <laughs> that Protestant work ethic's a killer. You know she was flirting with you, right? What? Amanda, are you actually this oblivious? Okay, hold the phone. I know when someone is flirting. It just takes me a while to decide if I want to flirt back. Didn't you go on a multi-year cross-country road trip? Did you get laid even once? Safi? 
Is this about the blue-haired girl whose picture you keep in your wallet? Wait, you snooped in my wallet? Stop deflecting. The girl with the blue hair. What's the deal with you two? Look, we were kind of high school sweethearts, okay? High school breakup turned into Miss Havisham? It was a little more complicated than... Can, can we change the subject now? No, come on! You never talk about yourself. Would it kill you to open up the teeny tiniest bit? What happened? She died my senior year. Oh, shit. Nah, hey, it's cool. It was a long time ago. You want to talk about something else? God, yes. Deal. Amanda. Fine, yes. I have a big, stupid crush on a hot girl. So does half a Lakeport. And there's a total catch. Half of Lakeport doesn't have what you have. A softy. I can help you navigate the complicated waters of love. First step, talk to her. About what? What do normal people even talk about? Mostly gas prices. But we're aiming a little bit higher. I mean, go look around. She's responsible for half the decor in this place. Learn what she likes. Yeah. Yeah. Why the hell not, you know? Okay, then. to go be normal. All I have to do is find some things Amanda likes and then talk about them. I can do that. I'm so fucking over. No way. The soup future is in my hands. All I have to do is find some things Amanda likes and then talk about them. I can do that. Hell yeah, Diamond. Way to go. One day, I'd like to play Go with Moses and Safi. Just have to learn the game first. I thought I was Caledon's resident Polaroid taker. Ah, undergrads. Good beer, good ethics. What else could you ask for? This is for sure upside down. get on the bad pickup line board. I wonder if anyone here knows any good ones I could borrow. Ten.
tell me you've got a terrible pickup line to share. Are you a campfire? Because you're smoking hot and I want some more. <laughs> oh, you're good. How do you do, fellow kids? You guys aren't sticking around over Christmas, are you? Let's see. Stay here or go home and let my dad drag me to church three times a week. <laughs> oh, I'll be here. Besides, a lot of the Abraxas kids stay over break. We've all got tasks to finish. What kind of secret society assigns busy work? The kind that's famous for immature pranks and ragers. So, why do people join Abraxas? It just sounds like a lot of stress. The only thing worse than being in Abraxas is not being in Abraxas. If you want any recognition at all. It didn't used to be this way. It used to be about activism and creating art that matters. Now it's mostly for networking and worshipping Vin Lang, the president. Sounds like... Bummer. Well, good luck, you guys. Spend <laughs> ten bucks, she asks her out. Survey question You two know any good pickup lines? Um, lots of calories in that drink. I know a great way to burn them off. Too old school. Cringeworthy, but a classic. Maybe that'll get me up there. Ah, yes, the telltale signs of a ten coffee all nighter. commitment to a bit as much as the next girl, but the bit here is just confusing. Gotta love any piece that can make a snowy tree look somehow cozy. Who just does this? Gosh, these are Safi says the bands that play here are small, but have heart. I'm not sure if that's a compliment. How does she make bartending look so easy? Jeez, Amanda has a huge family. Wonder what that's like. Amanda recommends Misery Cult, huh? I can work with that. Busy night. Ugh. Julie called off, so I haven't gotten a single break all shift. My bladder's about to explode. Go, pee. You can talk to me later. It's a fabulous idea. Don't go anywhere. That's the third glass this week, Reggie. I got this. Bathroom. Now, you are a literal angel. I owe you. Out of the way, freshman! Reggie's lucky I'm not gonna make him sweep up the glass. Come here, my sharp little friends. Moonlighting, huh? Hey, photography's a tough industry. Mm. 
Next time, remember, the class goes on the table. Oh, my bladder thanks you. Tell your bladder it's my pleasure. So hey, you were gonna say something before all that. So, you're a misery cult fan? For sure. <laughs> so cool that you know them. No, sorry. I actually had never heard of them until I read your wreck on the whiteboard. Oh, right. You're not a Lakeport local, duh. <laughs> so, educate me. I want to know. Misery Cult were the first band out of Lakeport to make it big. They kind of founded the Lakeport music scene. Lakeport has a scene? Like, multiple bands? Yeah, man. This town's pretty sick outside of the academic bubble. Those photos on the wall over there. Is that your family? Yep. All six of us, my poor mother. <laughs> I love those goobers. Plus, I'm the oldest, so they have to do what I say. Mm. I gotta know what the deal is with the pickup lines. My buddy Henry and I were co-headlining a comedy night. Holy shit, you do comedy? And this is the first I'm hearing about it? Sorry, sorry. Listening quietly, please proceed. So the whole drive up, he's telling me the grossest pickup lines he can think of, trying to get me to squirm. Dumb, bro shit. Anyway, it turned into a competition, which I won. Nobody knows grosser pickup lines than a small town lesbian. And the competition turned into the chalkboard? So, give it a shot. What's the best pickup line you've got? I know a great way to burn off the calories in that drink. There is something hot about a cute girl using a trashy frap row line, but it's not gonna get you on the board. So, I was thinking... That we should totally do something in Lakeport sometime? You could show off the local music scene. Oh, hell yeah. There's this band, Revenge Horse, that I've been meaning to check out. Based on that name alone, I'm 100% in. So, um, ugh, uh, I like to make sure that boundaries get set early. Uh, so, zero pressure, either way, but is this a date thing or is this a friend thing? I was kind of definitely thinking a date thing. You're really fucking adorable. It's a date then. Do Max doing normal people shit like some kind of healthy, productive member of society? How do you feel? I have no idea. The last 10 minutes are a total blur, but Amanda's really cool. Ooh. Moses! Hey! Oh, how was the shoot? We almost died. We didn't almost die. Yeah, because I saved us. I deserve a medal. <laughs> so, what are we doing? The night's young. We should hang out. Just the three of us? There's a meteor shower tonight. I'm conducting research, but it could be fun with other people. You should come. Both of you. That's perfect. All we need is... Hold on. <laughs> she's a mile a minute tonight. She gets this way when she's in a good mood. Courtesy of Madame President, Mommy Dearest. At least until she remembers that I have her credit card. <laughs> Shall we?
Give me the Cliff Notes version of what we're actually here to see. A bunch of little pieces of a shattered asteroid. From 11 million miles away. This is what I get for introducing you two. Wow. So should we be worried about this crazy asteroid hitting Earth? <laughs> Not in our lifetime. And it'll probably disintegrate before it reaches the surface. All right, Max. You have 24 hours before the world ends. What would you do? Oh, I'm documenting that shit. Can you imagine how cool an apocalypse photo set would be? Oh my god, this again? Nobody would see it. I'm telling you, art requires an audience. Otherwise, it's just... Okay, jeez. Agree to disagree. Awful quiet over there, Murph. Don't want to weigh in? Oh, uh, I wasn't listening. But, hey, looks like the equipment's working. Eek, why am I not at home wrapped up in a blanket burrito right now? I don't know. Me and Moses out in town without you? Think of the wild times you would have missed. <laughs> Lakeport's most notorious party animals. Oh, I brought cups. Figured that was better than passing the bottle around. This is the best you could do? I don't work in this building. Don't blame me for the astronomy department's bad taste. Mine says I'm the world's horniest grandma. Grab a mug, Max. You know me. I love my potty humor. I have some good news. Uh, it's big, but I can't tell you what it is. You can't tell us you have good news and then- I don't want to say anything else until everything is finalized. Mysterious. Well, whatever we're celebrating, I think it calls for a selfie. Oh, let me, I just got this camera and I want to get some good use out of it. What should we say? Damn, I think I have hypothermia. Moses has hypothermia. I've got incoming. I'm gonna, you know, um, do my thing. <laughs> Good news, huh? You two and your secrets. How you ever hold a conversation with each other is beyond me. I'm dying to know what Sophie's good news is. Maybe I can somehow convince her to spill. Moses always looks so passionate about his work, even when he's just crunching numbers. Hey, Moses, casually lean on the telescope. I might knock it over. Pretend. Hey, Moses. 
Doesn't some small part of you want to know what Sophie's good news is? All right. I think I have an idea. But once we go down this road, we can't turn back. Um, okay. Give this to Safi, if you can. You'll probably have to trick her into taking it or plant it on her. Like a prank? No. This has rules. So it's more of a game. Whoever holds the bottle cap has to do whatever you say. Well, within reason. Moses, I have literally never wanted to play a game more in my entire life. You say that now. But Safi has a very loose definition of within reason. And she'll come for you next. <laughs> okay. Wish me luck. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Oh, you mean like talking to someone who has an obvious crush on me? First of all, how dare you? Second of all, yes, exactly. Okay, how am I going to plant this on Safi? Safi eats these when she can't slip away for a smoke. It'd be totally normal for me to offer her one and give her a bottle cap instead. Now I've just got to deliver this to Safi. Hey, Safi. Mm hmm. Find anything poemable? <laughs> the moon? Kind of. Though I'd hardly be the first. Carl Sandberg called it a friend for the lonesome to talk to. Mm, pretty. I haven't seen a moon this bright outside of Oregon. Oh, a Max biography nugget. <laughs> Those are rare. really talk about why you came here. You already know. Your mom threw me a lifeline. Pulled me out of freelance hell. One of these days, I'm gonna find out what you're running from, Max Caulfield. That's a promise. Want a piece of candy? There's a few left. Oh. No. Twist my arm. <sighs> Shit. It's a conspiracy. Come on, Max. Surely you, of all people, would let a girl have her secrets. And violate the sacred covenant of the bottle cap? Never. You know I'm going to get you back for this, right? Less thready, more talk. Okay. So, well, I've been shopping around a bunch of my poetry, right? Like, as a collection. And a publisher made an offer. For real? Oh my god, Sophie! <laughs> that's incredible! Congratulations! <laughs> Thank you. Nothing signed or anything yet, so I want to keep it under wraps until all the paperwork gets signed. Understood. Your secret is safe with me. <laughs> oh. Oh, shit. Hello? This is Safi? Yes, this is Safiya Llewellyn Fayyad. Speaking. Be right back.
So, uh, would you really take pictures of the end of the world? Yeah. Think about it. I take photos of empty buildings. An empty planet? <laughs> That's next level. Okay. But it's like Safi said. Nobody is ever going to see them. That's not necessarily true. Maybe aliens find my camera two billion years later. Or irradiated mutants worship your camera like a god. Exactly. Now you get it. You never know who's going to be left standing when the dust settles. Look at that. What a tail. Moses was right. This is awesome. Are you okay? Y yeah. All good. Just dizzy. Maybe the champagne. I think I'm gonna take off. Get some rest. I can give you a ride if you wait a few minutes. No, that's okay. I think a walk will clear my head. I think so. I'm glad Moses invited me out tonight. Caledon's a beautiful campus, but it's even better when it snows.
What a perfect night for walking home. I'll just catch up with Safi tomorrow. Amanda is a keen cultural anthropologist, I see. Eat your heart out, Safi. never do to you. <laughs> nice. But who planted the bottle cap? And who took the photo? take a shot like this every day. Wow. You're really watching me, aren't you? This is not a test. Max! The emergency broadcast system has never been effective. I caused this. I caused all of this. I should check on her anyway. Better safe than sorry. Shit! Sophie, hang on! Sophie's fine. For a moment, I thought... Sophie. Sophie? Hey. You okay?
God you choose. I know you'll make the right decision. Max, it's time. Welcome to the wall, Safi. Shit. Fuck. chills all over my neck. You have powers. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. No, Chloe. What's fucking insane is that being able to rewind time has only caused me more problems and more heartbreak. If high school Max could see the places I've seen, the people I've met, all those people lived, but you died because of me. It's never fair, is it? I miss you so fucking much, Chloe. The bassist from the agnostic femmes named Faith, a punk band out of Oakland. She was enthusiastic. I don't care if it makes me absolutely basic, I would 100% retire there. Her name was Chloe. I thought that was a sign. It wasn't. Milagros Midwest, a Mexican joint in Iowa run by the amazing Francia. Best enchiladas I ever had. If I could undo your death, Safi, I'd do it without a second thought. Fuck. She went through all of that alone.
I wish I'd been there to hear Sophie read it. Shit. Oh. My place is a mess. Shit, shit, shit. I'm a mess. Can't let Amanda see the mess downstairs. Better change out of my pajamas, too. Amanda might be down to watch a decapitated head in a bucket wreak havoc, but probably shouldn't assume. I don't think Amanda needs to see a two-ply monument to my sadness today. Looks like one of the previous artists in residence was also a fan of Neb. Or a Neb hater like Safi. Finish up downstairs. I swear I'll clean that one pan eventually. Amanda will understand. Can you still be welcome in a place you have no desire to go back to? Good to know Vanessa and Ryan still have my back. No matter what. Sometimes, when I close my eyes, I still see her lying on that bathroom floor. really up for dragging Amanda down traumatic memory lane. Best to get this out of sight. Oh, better clean those up too. Congrats, Victoria. I'm honestly proud of you. Even if you sent me this to rub it in. Joyce sent me this one. She really captured you here. Saw you the way I always did. Congrats, Victoria. Better get these tidied up too. 
before Amanda gets here. Amanda's at the door. I hope she isn't mad that I ignored her calls. Hey, Max. Hey, Amanda. Welcome to hell. <laughs> oh, honey. We're doing dramatic goth kid grief. Go big or go home, I always say. She's really gone, Amanda. Sophie was here two days ago, and now- I know, Max. I know. Why would anybody want to- I mean, she was just- I appreciate you checking in on me. You didn't have to. Oh, I 100% did. Nobody's seen you for two days. I'll begrudgingly admit, it is nice to see a friendly face. A friendly face. With food! Homegrown salad and homemade focaccia. Damn! Okay, then. I would have been happy with old Halloween candy and a Pop-Tart. <laughs> Full disclosure, I... don't exactly have the biggest of appetites right now. Really? Eating always makes me feel better. Never encountered a mood that couldn't be improved by demolishing an entire pizza solo. You just wait till I'm feeling better. I could eat you under the table. <laughs> Wowzers. What? It's a common turn of phrase. You're the one making it dirty. I, I plead innocent. Oh, so you're just going to tweet through it then? <laughs> I won't be speaking further without my lawyer present. You need to eat, Max. The stuff that makes you feel close to normal again is usually what you need the most. Whoa. I haven't seen one of these since I was like 10. I would have figured instant cameras were a professional photography no-no. I like them. Always have. So, I don't know, tactile. Looking through the viewfinder, holding the photo in your hands, it feels more real. Another way to make you feel normal again? Taking a picture of your friend Amanda. Friend? Yeah, we... I know you asked me out. But honestly... You've got a lot on your plate. Emotionally. You know, you're probably right. You do know I think you're cool as fuck, right? Even if you're not in the headspace for anything romantic. Now how about that photo? That's what I'm talking about. I can't believe she's making me do this. How should I pose for Caledon's illustrious artist in residence?
How about another one? Different pose this time. Okay. Why not? <laughs> oh. Oh, shit. Sorry. It's Safi's mom. Um, just... Just a sec, okay? Hi, Yasmin. Hi. Hi, Maxine. How are you holding up? Uh, there's no graceful way to answer that question. Not without lying. Have you ever dealt with loss like this? Sadly, I have. It doesn't get easier, but... It can hurt less, with time. A bitter balm. I wanted to talk to you face to face, uh, if possible. Doing this over the phone feels so... Of course. Um, I can come by today. I'll be in my office all day. Just let Vin know when you arrive. Everything okay? Not sure. I need to head to campus to meet with her. I can't thank you enough for coming by, Amanda. Psh, it's what you do. This is the one thing that brightened your mood today. Aside from me. <laughs> Come on. I'll walk with you. Yasmin's office is in the old administration building. <laughs> well, time to see if these jokers burn down the turtle in my absence. Will I see you later? You know where to find me. Fuck me. Better head to the admin building. Yasmin's expecting me. Damn it! Blow me, box! I wonder what's got Reggie so pissed off. Oh, Max. Hey. Last time I saw you this mad was when you dropped your phone in the Lake Champlain. Lost all my best picks. <laughs> I heard about what happened. Fucking crazy. You know? Here of all places. You and Safi were pretty close, huh? She was the best friend I've had in a long time. Shit. I can't even imagine. Two of you always seemed like you were having a blast together. What's on your mind?
Are you holding up okay? Me? I, I don't know. I, I didn't really know Safi. Seems kind of weird to be fucked up about it. Seems like there's a butt coming. I mean... I guess I'm fucked up about it anyways. <laughs> kind of seems like the whole campus is. I missed you in workshop last week. I'm trying not to take it personally. Yeah, you saw my last shoot. It was dog shit. It was rough. But it was honest. <laughs> You're a natural. Whether you like it or not. You think so? Shit. <laughs> I've never been a natural before. All right. Catch you later, Reggie. I still need to meet with Yasmin. Can't put it off forever. Shit's all yours if you want it. So, what's this about? It's an Abraxas puzzle box. It's got goodies inside, but only for those who can open it. Aren't you a member? Why all the arcane bullshit? Sorry. Society secret. I can tell you that it's meant to test a key Abraxas virtue. The eye for detail. <laughs> Whatever the hell that means. You want to give it a shot? This is supposed to be that statue over there, right? The Founder statue? Yeah, I, I think so. Where's his other bird? There should be two. Huh? Oh, I didn't even notice that. Maybe this is supposed to be Thomas Caledon's missing crow. Is that... wax around it? Hey, do you have a lighter? Yeah? Why? What are you thinking? Observe. No shit. your headache now. Are you sure? Really. Good riddance. <laughs> All right. Catch you later, Reggie. I still need to meet with Yasmin. Can't put it off forever. Safi's murder brought the whole campus to a standstill. It touched everybody. Okay, Yasmin's office is down the hall.
Howdy, Vin. Howdy. Let me guess. She texted you to come see her. I keep telling her to send all comms through me, but sometimes she goes rogue. How dare she use her phone without your permission? You think this is an easy gig? Kahuna's got a social calendar like a TikTok influencer. I'm sorry. Kahuna? That's borderline adorable. Oh. Listen. I'm, I'm really sorry about Safi. Thanks. Me too. She and I had our issues, but she was an amazing person and we're all gonna miss her. Issues? What could the two of you have to fight about? I got between Safi and her mom constantly. Could you blame her for hating my ass? It's good you're here. She's... Well, she's about like you'd guess. I don't know what I can do. Are you kidding? She's obsessed with you. I I'm a little jealous, actually. See... I only like favoritism when I'm the one who's favored. Why does that not surprise me? Well, she's got somebody with her now, so it'll be a few. Or if you're dying for stimulation, I've got a package waiting for me down the hall. You're welcome to get it for me. Does your beneficence know no bounds? <laughs> Fuck! You gotta be kidding me. Sounds like someone else needs my help. Good luck. Have fun. We playing today? Nah, DM canceled. Gwen? All good? Uh, Max, I, uh, so, I'm a hugger, um, are you a hugger? World champion hugger, as a matter of fact. Bring it in. I didn't realize how bad I needed that. <laughs> I couldn't just stand there. You look like you were walking around in a trance. That's pretty much how I feel. Is there anything you need or that I can do for you? Actually, I was hoping to give you a hand. You sounded like you could use it. Oh, right. I came in here to pick up a book, but lo and behold, some genius locked it up. Oh, hey, you're like the, uh, breaking and entering queen, right? Think you can get past this lock? So that's what everybody thinks of me? The home invader? Bad reputation, twins. Boom. Bad reputation, twins. to ask, but any word on the proposal you sent Dr. Fayai? If only. And for obvious... Love a good fireplace. Love modern heating even more.
Never met the woman herself, but her bust feels like an old friend somehow. Guess everyone's too literary for YA these days. Cowards. Expensive display, cheap lock. He loved to see it. Anything skinny and curved ought to do the trick. Think it's in your wheelhouse? Definitely. I just need to find the right tool. Everyone, students, faculty, staff, would benefit from a shortened work week. I mean, your grief group meets on Fridays, doesn't it? That pen looks like the right size for Gwen's lock, but it needs more of a curve in it. Love a good fireplace. Love modern heating even more. I'm gonna crack this case wide open. Those are too thick to pick that lock in the library. Is it weird that I know that at a glance? This must have the package Vin was worried about. I could bring it to him. Aha. Hold on now, you might feel a slight pinch. Holy shit! You did it! You're a lifesaver! Yeah, I probably should have figured that out myself. But uh, hey, what can you do? We're all a touch fucked at the moment. I hope the book was worth all that trouble. What is it? Oh, it's an old mystery novel. It's the author's debut, actually. Kind of random, I know. <laughs> Did Safi ever tell you about the manuscript she was working on? I knew she wanted to write a book someday, but I don't think she ever got the chance. Why? Oh, no particular reason. Just hoping we have plenty to remember her by. A legacy, you know. Thanks again for the help. And don't be a stranger, okay? My door is always open. Thanks. You too. Moses, I... Yasmin's waiting for you. Are you okay? I've been... Can it wait? I'm like... a husk right now. I... I need a minute. Yeah. Sure. Meet me in the Fab Cafe. Grab a hot chocolate. And I'll find you when I'm done? I can do that. I am telling you to do your job. You're a parent, Chief Banks. Surely you... Of course. 
Yes? Please, anything you learn. Yes. Goodbye. That was the Lakeport police chief. Overconfident and underqualified. Sounds like the cops aren't being very helpful. Can't say I'm surprised. Yes. Well, they're the only thing at my disposal. Let me ask you something. Be honest with me. Safi and I weren't always so close. Things used to be... Difficult? Did she tell you that? I don't know if she ever said it in so many words, but... I kinda gathered that you two didn't always get along. Was it so obvious? Pity. I'm sorry you were exposed to that side of our relationship. So, what's your question? Despite everything they have found, the police have still not ruled out suicide as the cause of death. Maxine, you and Safia were friends. She told you things she wouldn't tell me. Is there any reason to think she may have taken her own life? Safi would never have hurt herself or anybody else. It's not who she is. That's what I believe as well. But sometimes, the people closest to us are capable of hiding their own pain. She was fine the last I saw her. She was excited about the future. And that's how I will choose to remember her. Happy... and hopeful. I'm sorry. I wish I could have done more. You've done enough, Maxine. Thank you. Oh, um, before you go, we need a picture of Safia for the memorial materials. Would you mind taking a look and choosing your favorite? Sure. Pick one photo to capture Sophie? That's a tough ask. I've been awaiting your call. I... Thank you for... Yasmin was so proud of Sophie. No, it's an important meeting. We shouldn't push it. Yasmin got to see Sophie's early drafts? That's a rare privilege. We should set a time to do more thorough preparations as well. The board is always trying to catch me on my back foot. Safi loved lazy Sunday afternoons. Safi knew how to be serious when she needed to, but she was just such a dork. Whenever she spoke, you just couldn't help but want to listen. Safi was more than just a poet. I want people to remember that. Well, I did the best I could. Guess I should go find Moses. I should talk to Moses. He's waiting for me in the fab. Here you go. Saved you the trip. 
What's this? Don't tell me we're becoming friends. All right, settle down. You just caught me in a generous mood. <laughs> All right. What do you want? What do I want? Sure. Nothing's free. At least, not if you're smart. So, what do you want? Nothing now, but... You'll owe me. One favor. Delivered on demand. You drive a hard bargain, Caulfield. But I like it. <laughs> You're full of surprises. Moses is waiting for me in the fab. This will help me get my bearings a little bit. I wonder if Moses has gotten his hot chocolate yet. I told you, don't contact me on this phone. And texts only, no calls. Hmm, this sounds interesting. Well, I'm, I'm sure the police know that already, even if... I understand that, but did they find anything? Interesting call? Uh, Loretta. Jeez. You scared the hell out of me. Did you need something? Need? Nah, I was just curious about Dr. Hunter's phone call. Seems I'm not the only one. Wow. <laughs> Caught in the act. I swear I used to be better at this kind of thing. Did you? That sounds like a story I should hear. Well, since you're not busy, maybe you could help me out, you know? One snoop to another? I'm not, I... Just hold on. Let me relocate. What can I do for you? You could give me a quick soundbite for my podcast. Um, maybe? Tell me a little about it first. Part journalism, part analysis, investigative type stuff. The human condition. You get it. I guess that's fine. What do you need? Just for background, you were close friends with Safi Llewellyn Fayette. Oh. Um. I don't think I want to talk about Safi with you. Pleading the fifth, huh? Kind of an answer in and of itself, but... Do you? That's not what I said. I just... Is it true she used school resources for personal purposes and that her mother turned a blind eye? I'm not gonna help you smear, Sophie. If you're not into it, I'll just go interview Dr. Hunter instead. I'm sure we'd have a lot to talk about. You're bluffing. 
You were trying to listen in too. You said so yourself. Oh, shit. Hi, Professor. I just thought you might want to know that Miss Caulfield's been listening to your calls. Loretta, I don't know how you have time to be a snitch when you still owe me revisions. Beat it. <sighs> what a little shit. But she's not a liar. Anything you want to tell me, Max? I wanted to check on you. You seemed so upset in the library earlier. Max, I don't like to be pitied. And I like fake pity even less. Leave me alone. You know, I really thought we were cool. Just stay out of my way. Fantastic. Anything else want to go wrong today? Might as well pack it all in at once. Far be it for me to question the... But how do I know if I can trust you? I don't even know where to start. Hey, I'm sorry I didn't return your texts or call you. I should have. I get why you didn't. Really. And I'm sorry too. I probably should have given you some space. Listen, the last few days have been hell, but we're both here now, and we're going to get through. I just, I keep replaying it in my head. Could we have done something? Gotten there sooner, or called her when she didn't come back. Why didn't one of us go with her, Max? Why did we let her walk off alone like that? I've spent the last two days asking myself that. Over and over. I don't think there's a good answer. What if I can't do this, Max? You can't. Neither of us can. Not alone. But the next time you need me, I'll be there. I swear it. Safi weighs heavily on us today. In fact, my best-selling novel speaks to this precise moment. Safi disliked my book, ironically, but sales don't lie. And being remembered for one's words is a kind of immortality. Grief is fleeting. But words... Words are deathless. They endure. I want to honor Safi Llewellyn and pay tribute to her unique voice. Hence why we're holding class on the quad today. Is that Lucas? Comanero, head of the lit department. God, what a pretentious creep. Safi hated his guts. I don't give a shit what Lucas does. 
I shouldn't either. It just bugs me seeing him up there, basking in everybody's sadness. Safi never found the audience that so few of us enjoy. It's up to us to keep her fire burning. Tell me that shutting him up won't make me feel better. It won't. But I wouldn't blame you for trying it anyway. I'll find you later. I can't watch this. Ugh, Lucas gets under my skin. I could try to shut him up. Or I could just stay out of it and go keep Moses company. I paused. This kid. Double entendres can't be his whole personality, right? Catch my breath. A receding shadow lurks in the periphery, beyond Here the overgrown grass. Where did Moses head to? It's weird. Nobody here saw her. Just you and me. I feel so disconnected from all of them. It's different, doesn't it? Hey, I have a question about Safi. Okay. How did you guys meet anyway? I never asked. It's not much of a story. I came to Caledon late, mid-year. Safi was assigned to give me the big, shiny grad student tour. I think she saw it as a chore. Doesn't Yasmin have a VIN for that? Exactly. But uh, then she saw this bracelet I got in Kyoto. A little cherry blossom. I've always liked that bracelet. She just finished a poem called Hanami. It means watching blossoms in Japanese. I haven't thought about that in a while. What's the deal with this bench? You tease to sit here all the time. Oh yeah. Guess we did, huh? Uh, this was our lunch bench when we were both teaching summer school. For someone so chatty, she really got the appeal of comfortable silence, you know? Hey Max. Yeah. I'm going to use present tense for just a little longer. I'm not ready for Safi to be a was yet. I'm with you, Moses. Go ahead and stay present tense as long as you want. Just a little longer. Okay. I think I might need a little alone time. Probably just as well. I gotta get over to the observatory anyway. You'll text if you need anything? Yeah. Promise. You too. Yeah? <laughs> no, no! You wanna go in aggressive with the red deck. Hit hard and don't let up. Lose more tactics. 
Moses? It's not rock, paper, scissors. Any color jack can be in the other with the right colors. Yeah. Anytime. <laughs> Later. What the hell was that? Where's that other Moses? How do I bring him back? I come in peace. Declare your allegiance. Come on. Conscientious objector. That's what they all say. I'm unarmed, okay? Just want to get out of Coco. That's it. Snowballs down. Let the observer pass. What is going on? What am I seeing? Better keep following Moses until I figure it out. Where is that other Moses going? Gotta keep following that other Moses. I need to figure out what's going on. Where is that other Moses going? What are you doing out here? Your final's in five minutes. I'm not the one taking it. It's time for our Coco. Sophie? You're hopeless. These poor kids pay tuition. Hey, I have a five-star rating to teach rating. I can't believe Max would stand me up. You were supposed to have lunch with the turtle. This is happening. This is real. Probably afraid you'll charge the whole thing to a car. Oh my god, dude. Go. <laughs> really was Sophie. I think I have to get to her. Max, if you're not here in the next five minutes, I'm going to tell Moses that you don't watch his Blu-rays. Bye! If she could just hear me like I can hear her. Saucy! I'm right here! Right in front of you! Fuck it. I got pizza rolls in my office. One more.
was enough now we should have stayed blind I tease there you are thought I was gonna freeze to death but some